What's going on YouTube? Jan Moses here to tell you that as someone who has completed the Inferno Agenda set for Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady and the Level Up Agenda set from about a month ago for the Pink Diamond Kyle Korver, this set of agendas that we got roughly three hours ago in NBA 2K24, my team, for the Rust Collection headlined by the Galaxy Opal Austin Reeves is an abject disaster. Um, a number of us were looking forward to grinding these agendas out over the next week because we all knew that these agendas were only going to last a week. That's how they treated those previous two agenda sets that I mentioned earlier. And I was hoping that when it comes to how difficult these agendas would be to complete, that they would fall somewhere in between that level up and aforementioned Inferno agenda set um, were, how those were constructed. And on paper, at face value, we can look at them very briefly here. These agendas seem to not be all that difficult. I mean, a little annoying, sure, but if you look at them here, I'll quickly go over them. Three dunks with a player in unlimited or salary cap. You need to do this 15 times. Three blocks with a player in domination or triple threat offline. This needs to be done 30 times. 100 rebounds with Suns players, Suns players over multiple multiplayer games. 150 assists with Lakers players over single player games, 23 pointers with Wild West players over multiple TTO or co-op games, and then 60 points in the paint with Wild West players over triple threat offline games. Um, to me, at least, if you look at this on paper and you compare it to what we got for Level Up and especially what we got for the Inferno, these don't look all that crazy. I mean, we had to get 150 steals for Diamond Paolo Bancaro for crying out loud. That is still the most insane agenda that I've ever completed and will probably ever complete in NBA. Well, not, not just the NBA 2K24 my team, but any my team that I've played previously. And so when I saw this, you know, I was not excited, but I was looking forward to doing it. I was planning on finding time to grind these agendas out, even though I don't have nearly as much free time this week between you know today until next Tuesday as I did for the Inferno agenda set where it started on a Friday so I was off Saturday and Sunday I believe Monday was a holiday and then I'm usually off from work on Tuesday so I effectively had a four-day weekend to get those agendas done uh, I don't have that same luxury for this collection and the other thing is I already kind of knew heading in especially when I saw the ratings for these players on 2kdb that you know that inferno agenda set for its time was really good because there were a number of players from that collection who honestly even today over a month later still have immense value for your squad i mean i'm still using pink diamond ak-47 in my clutch time online lineup i could run tracy mcgrady if i want steph curry is a pretty fun point guard to use especially now that outside of you know galaxy opal shea gilgis alexander who there's no guarantee or there's no way to guarantee that you can get him even when he was in packs um there really is no true number one like clear-cut point guard option in my team so you could run a guy like steph curry and still win games um paolo bancaro is obviously really good clyde drexler is fun i could go on and on and on and one other thing that i really liked about that inferno agenda set was that the two top cards outside of T Mac, obviously, in that uh, in that collection, Andre Kirilenko and Steph Curry. I believe those were the only two pink diamonds outside of Tracy. Both of them had agendas that were uh, offline grindable, so you didn't have to go into online play to get them done, which I really liked. I really appreciated that personally. Um, this agenda said, if you look at it, you know the top two cards here. Um, I mean, sure, you have. The Jaron Jackson Jr. one being offline, I said I thought they were going to be online, and that was my fear. And initially, again, on paper, three blocks with a player in offline games 30 times. While it seems daunting, if you were to do it in triple threat offline, I'll show you exactly what I was going to do. Because I made lineups. I'm telling you, I made lineups for all these guys before I saw something that I want to talk about very, very shortly that absolutely ruins this for me, and it makes this whole entire thing an abject failure. Um, this is the lineup I was going to run for multiplayer Suns rebounds. I was going to bring this trio into Triple Threat Online. So I figure I can probably still win some games, even though they're all Amethysts. Um, and I can get rebounds with hopefully at least Ceballos and DeAndre Ayton. Um, this was my salary cap squad that I was going to bring. I was trying to focus on players that could dunk for me. So I basically surrounded Jeremy Lin with four players so I could easily get dunks with. Because if I get three dunks with these three players all of a sudden now i'm you know four out of 15 and that's not including if i get three dunks with anyone off the bench i mean 
Again, Gerald Wallace, Paul George, Kenyon Martin, and Mitchell Robinson, all pretty solid, I think, at catching lobs and, you know, turning them into dunks. So I thought I could possibly get that agenda done for, you know, the um, the Jerry Stackhouse with all the dunks, the, you know, three dunks a player, 15 times. I thought I could get it done probably in like five to seven salary cap games. Um and then I found out, at least according to a couple of different YouTubers and a few people on the My Team subreddit, that these agendas don't stack, which kills this entire agenda set for me. Um, let me let me explain in case you don't know exactly what I mean. When I say stack, I mean going into, for example, for the blocks for Jaron Jackson Jr. That was the one lineup I did not show, right? I was planning on bringing this lineup right here and I picked Spencer Dinwiddie because you need to get 150 Lakers assists. So I figure for points, I'll just have Spencer Dinwiddie, you know, throw lobs up for both Larry Sanders and Bull Bull. While at the same time, I would put Larry Sanders on Spencer Dinwiddie's matchup and then bait a layup and then, you know, swap the layup with Larry Sanders three times and then do the same thing with Bull Bull. And then all of a sudden, instead of it taking 30 triple threat off on games it would only take 15 because i'm getting three blocks with larry sanders three blocks with bull bull do that over the course of 15 triple threat offline games now i have that agenda done 30 times basically right because i have it done twice per game uh someone on the my team subreddit i think said it early on in the morning when i was checking to see what people thought of the agenda set that they tried to do a similar method to what i explained and it only logged um him having completed that agenda set once out of 30 times even though he got three plus blocks with two players in his game that is incredibly frustrating and i feel like that multiplies the amount of time that a lot of us thought was going to take to get this agenda set done by multiple factors uh, and that's incredibly frustrating it almost feels like 2k was dangling uh, um, a, a galaxy opal card that we could grind for in a promo because we've gotten galaxy opals that we can grind for such as michael porter jr for playing uh, unlimited right i think it's unlimited uh let's see unlimited yeah michael porter jr for getting 20 unlimited wins we have a chris middleton who i'm going to hopefully have by this weekend because i have 42 wins right now and clutch some online for the season um so there are reward cards that we could grind for but Austin Reeves was the first Galaxy Opal who I think we were able to get from a promotion that 2K has dropped um, over the last few promos. I mean, our last three promos, we've had the All-Star promo, which has had uh, 100 rated Kareem and a bunch of Opals that were special inserts. And then we had the Wild West promo from last Friday, same exact kind of thing. You know, Shaq, Kobe, D-Rob, all these Opals and 100 rated players who were uh, only available in packs, basically. So Austin Reeves comes in first galaxy opal we can grind for and then we have to subject ourselves to this grind that is absolutely absolutely disgusting and it just feels like 2k is trying to force the people that are no money spent to spend their mt on packs because you know they know that a lot of people such as myself aren't going to want to deal with getting you know i mean three blocks in 30 games that's so time consuming and annoying i mean even if you get this done like in two hours, it's so mindless, it's so boring. And you're doing all this for an Austin Reeves just for us to get like a top end point guard probably on Friday, um, who's the Galaxy Opal. And I'm not saying they're gonna put that Opal into the player market, I don't think they will. Um, if anything, I actually think this promo is going to, like this promo to me spells, um, spells out that my team is probably not gonna give us uh, Opals in the player market on Friday, which is, incredibly frustrating i was looking forward to hopefully getting opals in the player market on friday because i thought that 2k was taking a step in the right direction giving us a grindable opal today hopefully leading to giving us opals in the player market so that those of us who have mt saved up who don't rip packs such as myself have something to spend this mt on because i am not gonna spend mt on packs it's just not worth it the odds are horrible and 2k is just taking advantage of fomo you know like right now, I know if I were to boot up a, you know, a clutch time online game and I see someone who has Austin Reeves, I would, I would honestly hope that they had packed him if they had ripped packs, because I would honestly feel so bad for people who spent all that time to grind for a Galaxy Opal Austin Reeves card 
just for 2k to immediately outdate him whether it's this upcoming friday or next friday with another galaxy opal point guard that'll probably be better than james harden when he comes out for level 40 you know um at least for me i know some people already completed level 40 and have him already um it just sucks man i mean again i already wasn't super bullish on this collection because a lot of these cards like you know jerry stackhouse and jaron jackson jr don't necessarily excite me all that much i mean jaron jackson jr was probably the card that i was looking forward to the most outside of the galaxy opal austin reeves but i am not going to subject myself to playing um 30 triple threat offline games and getting three blocks in each of those games i just think that's that's insane for one week it's just ludicrous you know and I don't know like to the people that are saying oh well if you're going to give us agendas like these make it where they last over the course of the season i'm honestly fine with these agendas being a week long and i'm okay with these agendas being the way they are as currently constructed what i'm not okay with is the inability to stack these agendas i don't want to play 15 salary cap games i don't want to play 30 triple threat offline games and get you know three dunks and three blocks respectively in those game modes. I think it is a horrific waste of time. I would much rather honestly just not play my team and just, or just stick to doing what I've been doing on my, you know, my, my, my team time, which is playing clutch time online, grinding for Chris Middleton, building up my MT stack as much as I can, as much as I want. Cause I enjoy seeing now 4 million plus coins in my MT wallet. I think it's really nice. And then who knows, maybe tomorrow when the new terms of service kick in for my team and they, you know, emphasize their, or you know they can now use their power to take our mtua maybe they'll wipe all my mtua who knows honestly i don't know what world we're going to live in when it comes to the my team world after tomorrow so maybe i should just rip all my or spend all my mt on packs today i don't know i'm i'm rambling i'm just so frustrated at this point with the way everything has been in my team i was really hoping that they were going to take a step in the right direction today and give us a set of agendas that were going to not look that bad and honestly when i booted up the game and i looked at the agendas and I thought, man, this actually is, I don't want to say it's doable, but at least it's somewhat stomachable because you can probably, you know, get three dunks with multiple players in salary cap games and make this grind a little bit easier, actually a lot easier. Same thing with these blocks. You can cut the number of games you have to play in triple threat off, uh, offline by half. If you can get two players with three blocks a game and they remove our ability to stack agendas, uh, an ability that we had in previous uh, promos, previous Tuesday promos, previous Friday promos, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure with the Inferno agenda set, I was able to stack uh, triple doubles to get AK-47 more quickly. I didn't have to play 15 domination games or 15 triple threat offline games or whatever game modes I played um, to get those triple doubles. I didn't have to worry about that. So um, this is just, again, it's incredibly frustrating. I'm done talking about it. If you want to go for this grind, more power to you. I'm not here to criticize you for completing the grind. I'm just here to tell you that in my opinion, this grind is a complete failure. It is a complete waste of time. And I think you're better off doing honestly anything else instead of playing the game for these agendas. Hope you enjoyed. I'm so sorry that I've been so negative lately, but my team has really made it difficult to um, inspire uh, optimism for me when it comes to this game mode. So hopefully brighter days are still ahead because 2K continues to find ways to define a new low with every promo that they drop in the game. Until next time. I'll see you later.